Hey there, YTPC. Michelle Baruch coming at you on a fine Friday afternoon. I hope you guys are doing really well out there. Literally just two minutes ago, it started snowing. Those are big, fat flakes of snow. I'm wondering if I could turn my camera without making you guys queasy to show you. Can you see it? Anyway. <laughs> Hope you guys are well. Um, we actually really haven't had much snow since I mentioned it last. It's been uh, really rainy and a little warmer. It's been in the 40s this week. Um, so, not very wintry. But uh, those are some nice fat flakes. I like it. It'll make my son happy anyway. Um, so today, I'm finally going to get to it. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Sorry that it has taken me so long to get done with the initial part of my series, but today we've got <coughs> the Captain Black Dark versus the Lane BCA comparison. Uh, starting with the premise that Lane owns both companies and has a proprietary uh, Black Cavendish steaming process and that essentially they just market the same products uh, under different labels. And so far that has not been true. And I'll give you a sneak peek just on lighting my two up. The Captain Black is always in the green. The Lane product is always in the red. Um, my initial light ups of the two of these, they're not very close. So let's see, with the, the new lighting I've got, let's see if you can see the difference. It's not incredibly different, but the Captain Black, which is here, is uniformly all black. This is, you know, a nice even ribbon crumble here. But if you look at the BCA, not only is it not nearly as black, it's actually got a lot of red tone to it. It's like a like a dried cherry color almost. I don't know if that translates into the photo here. Um, here's the lane on my left. It's a very very sweet mild sweet uh, aroma. The jar note is very strongly vanilla though I do know that there is some chocolate or chocolate liqueur topping. And the Captain Black Dark has a has a sweeter and richer smell and is more chocolatey by quite a bit. Quite a bit. Um, the cut on the two is very similar. If you look between them, the Captain Black is just a slightly chunkier, wider cut. The Lane product, the Lane BCA, are smaller pieces, thinner cuts. Um, there's not a world of difference between the two of them, but visibly they are not the same. Um, even though they are both Black, ooh, I'm starting to see some, uh, I don't know if you can see little droplets kind of coming through this way. Um, even though they're both Black Cavendish done by the Herman Lane um, steaming Cavendish process, uh, they're, they're clearly done differently in some way. I, I don't know how. So um, let me relight the Captain Black and uh, give you a quick first impression and then I'll do my water and do the Lane BCA. Now I was finding just a second ago when I was doing the initial uh, true light that the very first puffs 
of the Captain Black were a little sour, a little tart, uh, and not very sweet or rich. Actually, I think the adjective I would use would be um, the mouthfeel was very thin. Uh, I do get a lot of vanilla. Get a little chocolate. Not as much as in the tin note. I am a little surprised that the um, Cavendish isn't more um, kind of creamy and thick in the mouthfeel as I would expect, certainly as other Captain Black blends can be. It's very satisfying Cavendish. I don't know if the Captain Black Dark really stands up on its own. It almost seems... I don't know, almost seems slightly incomplete to me. Okay. A little more vanilla y there. Let me give it just a little bit of. <laughs> I forgot my, uh, my regular check tool, but I've got my spare that I keep on my keys, so I've got kind of a big monster pile here. It is good. I'd give it a B. Um, I do not think that this is remotely as good as Captain Black Original. Nor do I think it really holds up against the Royal. And it's a very mild smoke. Um, I think this would be an excellent starting place for someone who maybe is not brave enough to try something a little bolder as a new pipe smoker. Or, I actually think it would be great to mix with uh, a couple things that I've had where I thought the blend was good, uh, but it needed something. I think this would be a good thing to mix with one of those tobaccos. Um, I have a feeling this would be really good to mix a decent amount of in my, uh, my Frankenstein jar where I keep my little bits and bobs of mostly English blends that, you know, I just got down to the last little bit and put them in a jar together. Uh, that might be an interesting experiment. I, um, I'll give that a try. So this is the, the Lane BCA. <laughs> ah, come here, you. Ah, I think I ran out of juice. That's okay. So I've got the spare. both from the true light and from just the initial puffs right now. I can tell you that um, the BCA wins. I mean, it's not even a contest between these two. It has what I like about Cavendish, um, a really creamy mouthfeel, a really good smoke production. It's sweet, though it's not as sweet as a lot of aromatics. Um, both the vanilla and the cocoa are, are pretty pronounced. And it burns cool. It's a really cool... I noticed that right away. It lit. Amazing. It's a little sweeter than the Captain Black Dark, uh, but not not super sweet. This is not something I would go to when I have like my sweet tooth. Um, this is you know not like Autumn Evening or um, Sleepy Hollow that kind of sweet. I like this though. This I would smoke by itself.
Mm. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so uh, obviously in the works, I uh, I have my Mac Baron versus Captain Black comparisons coming up, but I did I did get a suggestion for something to compare Captain Black Copper to, and I believe that's the LL7. It's in the mail. It's coming. Yeah, BCA is good. And just as a, a point of uh, point of order, point of information, um, BCA was one of those things that I, I almost tried early, early on because I remember both Stogie Farts and Gray Bailey uh, highly, highly suggested them for new people. And I just never got around to it. I did the Lane 1Q first and then kind of didn't do a lot of aromatics after that. This would have been a very satisfying place to start. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, so, coming up very soon, I, I still have lots of stuff by Dance Dad Piper and uh, Andrew Cirigliano to review. Uh, but I've got the Lane, or the Captain Black Copper versus the Lane LL7 and uh, the Captain Black White, or original, versus the uh, Mac Baron White. So that should be fun. I uh, hope you guys are well. It's uh, if you had, if you celebrated the Christmas holiday, I hope it was very festive. Uh, and New Year's is coming up in a couple days, so I wish you all a very, very healthy, happy, safe, and prosperous New Year. Anyway, be well. Zaygesund.